All right, do you want to just kick it off here? Yeah, let's do it. All right, Rich's lover boy is Dalton Kincaid. Mm. Utah tight end, six foot three and five eighths inches, 246 pounds, 10 and a quarter inch hands, Richard. Um, didn't have any combine numbers on this guy. What what, what was the deal with that? Back. Back. He had a stress fracture in his back or something like that. Nothing big deal. Like okay. It sounds bad, but it's not. Okay. It's just a boo-boo. I, I knew you'd know, so that's why I asked. Um, tw- uh, in 12 <laughs> games sorry. last year, 70 receptions for 890 yards big and boy eight touchdowns. Big boy numbers. 70 catches, 890 yards, eight touchdowns. The focal point of this Utah offense. And Utah was, you know, around the map for a little I, bit there. I do have to say, 23, he'll be 24 in October. In October. Just like you. I'm in October, Just too. like you. Symbiotic. Uh, <laughs> so, Dalton K, let's just get into it. Yep. You know, this is somebody who is very impressive. And what's and it's even more impressive is he's only been playing football for the last six seasons. That was something I didn't know. Yeah. You told me that. He only played one year of high school football, mm-hmm. and that was it. Because he played basketball. I thought he was going to be a basketball player. Played one fo- year of football, and we're like, oh, wow, you're pretty good at that. And you get you, and, so you're, you and you're only six foot three and five eight, so maybe you stick with football. So I went to San Diego. <laughs> yeah. That's where he went. Played yep. football at San Diego. Did really good there. Utah saw him like, hey, why don't you can play football for us? That's and, an FCS school, right? Yes. I mean, just for those of you that don't know out there. So he went to Utah and came out and immediately started playing really well. This is somebody who is a very, very good route runner, which is really impressive when you say he's only been playing football for six seasons. Like to be as far along as he is uh, in his route running ability. He runs a very large route tree. Uh, he gets in and out of his breaks very, very yeah. well. He is so fluid. Out of every tight end that you're going to watch on film, if you watch this class, nobody looks like a giant receiver more than Dalton Kate. Nobody looks more like Travis Kelsey than Dalton Kate in this draft class. His hands, absolutely fantastic. Arguably, the best hands in this entire draft class with a massive catch radius. He dominates the contested catches. Dominates the contested catches. <laughs> Can I just hold on? Because yeah, I don't know if anyone else is watching this. You know, sometimes we release the nerder shown on YouTube. But you're doing the Dwight Schrute, the like the dictator thing that uh, I'm letting him know. That, that Jim told him about, and then he went onto the thing. You know, you're like pounding on the table. I'm sorry. <laughs> It, it just flashed in my brain. Dominate. <laughs> you just catches. love this guy so much. I love uh, it. His body control is brilliant. He high points the ball beautifully. His ball skills are top notch. Top He's notch. been number one. Number um, one. He gets off the line very, very well. And he's actually got room to grow a little bit, too. Like, he can get bigger from looking at his size. And that's going to serve him pretty good. He played in the slot 55% of the time because he can't block, but that's fine. I don't care that he could block. He averaged 2.5 I'm glad you, I'm glad you glossed over that. I was going to mention We'll that. get to it. I'm still <laughs> on my pros. Um, his his 2.52 yards per route, best in this class. He's really good with the balls. <laughs> balls. In his hands. Uh, if you want to go watch a game and have a fun game watching yeah. him, go mm-hmm. watch a USC game. Okay. 16 yeah. catches. Definitely saw that one. Yep. 234 yards mm-hmm. and a touchdown. Mm-hmm. What are my dislikes about Dolan? Not a good blocker. Lined up in line only about 35% of the time. Physical defensive back sometimes could redirect him slightly. And he's only played football since 2017. That's it. Yeah. No, he, I mean, listen. From a, fantasy, from, a, from a dynasty fantasy football outlook, this is... To me, is as good as it gets on film. Yeah, no, I, I agree. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a lot of the same things. Um, I do. I agree. He's got some good wiggle. I think he can. I think he can piece together some moves in his routes to get open. Which changing, you know, we were we, you know in the last show we were talking about um, what's his name. Uh, not, not Sam Laporta, Michael no, Mayer, Michael Mayer. Thank you. I don't know why I already lost that, but we were talking about Michael Mayer and the fact that, you Number know, man, babe. he can only probably stick a foot in the ground and, and, and cut one way. Yeah. No, Dalton can is a guy that can piece together moves, moving, shake and, m- shake and bake, move multiple directions and actually run a route tree. You know what I mean? Like yeah, really well. Yeah. So th- that's something Fluid. you can definitely see. He's, he's a guy that, that he does a nice job of maintaining concentration in a crowd and, and and coming down with some balls there. He's just athletically what you're looking for. And 
you, you know, you said it as a negative that he doesn't block well. Um, but I also heard you pre-show say, I, I'm fine. I like it that he can't block very well. Yeah. And so I know that you Don't like that. Don't ask him to do that. And I think, I, you know, obviously, as long as whomever drafts him knows what he is and doesn't try to force that round peg square hole type of thing, you're you're in a, you're in a gold mine sit type of situation. Yeah, I mean, as long as they have access to Dynasty Nerds film room, they should see it pretty clearly. I I hopefully they have their own film room. Um, ah, sign up with the Underdog and join our film room. It, well, no, I'm talking about a GM. Ah. Nah, they should just sign up for our stuff. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> as long as long as it's not that type of situation, because I've we've seen that go horribly wrong. We've seen that with a Mike Asiki go horribly wrong. You know horribly what I mean? Wrong. They, they just miscast it. I still don't know him. how that has gone so wrong, and I hope that Bill Belichick fixes it. Sure. I'm waiting for him to just go somewhere else at this point, but who knows? I think Bill can fix it. You think Bill can fix it? I bet. I think Mike Kosicki's going to be a top six fantasy tight end this year. In Bill Belichick's offense. Mm-hmm. I, They're gonna draft B. John, I have no confidence in that. They're going to draft B. John Robinson, and Mike Kosicki's going to be the number one target in that offense. I have, I have so Mike many Jones. shares of Mike Kosicki, and I'm so disappointed in that landing spot. It's only a one-year contract. It's only one. That's the one thing I'm hanging my hat on with him. All right. Back to husband number one. Anyway, uh, Dalton Kincaid. I mean, I think I think it can be a positive as well, as long as it's in the right situation. Um, oh, can, he, I, can I give you the perfect situation? I wanted to hear that, so I was going to ask. So, okay. yes, please do. Now, if this happens on draft night in round one, I mean, you've never seen this happen, but if you go into this team, I might have a mess in my pants. Like, I'll be that excited. Thank God I've never seen and, that happen. And, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. it's still alive. You still got time. And I am, I'm curious to you how, how, how far he'd go up your draft board. Okay. Lay it on me. Let me, let's see. I got the perfect, perfect, the perfect, perfect. landing spot for everything that he does well with the perfect quarterback that's going to m- match up with him and give you the longevity and give him the clear path to be the number one weapon in the offense for the next three years. Go ahead. The LA Chargers. I love that. <laughs> you were going to like sh- sh- say Kansas City. I was going to say it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's too easy. Stop. Oh, it. no. No, Wait, I actually. Where's Mike Williams dominate? Huh? Mike Williams. What's he really good at? Everything. Yeah. Uh, but contested, contested catches, catch. right? Yes, contested catches. With a catch. big arm with two receivers that are 28 years old or older. For a clear path to be the number one weapon in that offense, Austin Eckler's got a foot out the door. Keenan Allen's got a foot out the door. Mike Williams Don't is as it. his hand as his hand on the handle. Okay, he's not the door. Yeah, but yeah, he's got a hand on the handle. In three years, Dalton Kane can be the number. He could be Travis Kelsey, the Justin Herbert. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I know what it's, you mean. It's that, that's exciting. I'm for, not gonna lie. I, I was not, I wasn't expecting that, and I love that spot. Yeah, if he goes to the LA Chargers in a super flex tight end premium draft, I would be, I would draft him. I don't even know because, like, at this point, <laughs> I mean, but for me, that's like, you know, we saw the Kyle Pitts hype, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just as excited. I'm, I'm on. Put me on that train. And I know it's a tight end, and you can have an argument saying, well, it's still a tight end, so like a 1,000 yards is something to be happy about. But I'm looking for a difference maker for my dynasty team, and that'd be a clear difference maker. And if I can get, you know, see, he's torn, tr- turned 24. If I get seven straight years of what you got, like for Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey was a league winner. He was single-handedly take you to the playoffs. If you draft him Easily. in best ball leagues, he goes in the first round because yeah. he's a difference maker. He he wins you a championship. And what I'm doing in this rookie draft, we talked about earlier is why we take some of these tight ends is I'm looking for difference makers for my dynasty team in that situation. And granted, almost in any situation, I still love them. But in that exact scenario, it's like, do I take him hell ahead of Will Levis? Do I like do tight end super flex? Yeah. Do I enter? Do I take him ahead of Jameer Gibbs? I don't know if I can take him out of Jackson Smith and Jigba. But I, I, think, could, I think the argument could be made if you do see him that, it. if you see him that highly, yeah. you shouldn't even think twice. You should take it over. You should take him over anyway. If he goes to the Chargers, I mean, honestly, if he, somebody went to the Chiefs, I mean, I would still right. be really happy. But that's not my dream. Spot. I mean, I, I think there's a lot of people out there that would argue, you, you know, you should never take a tight end because you can get him later. You should never take him that early. And there's probably some truth to that. Um, but if you think he's a true difference maker, yeah. I think he vaults above so many other positions just because there's so much scarcity 
at the elite top level at the tight end position. That there's no doubt in, there's no doubt in my mind. If you see him that way, that you should take him. If you have the if you have the opportunity to get a guy same thing when you want to take B. John Robinson ahead of these quarterbacks because there's a clear path to have the guy the number one guy at his position for the ne- un- upcoming years the mm-hmm. number one overall guy yeah. and that can, Dalton Kate has a talent where he could be that guy he could be the yeah. number one overall fantasy football tight end and for the record um I I shouldn't have been that shocked about that landing spot because that that is exactly where I was hoping Mike Kosicki would go. Uh, and, oh, me too. You know what I mean, like that. Well, actually, him or their Chiefs, but yeah. right, right. So it was it was one of those things where there was a clear hole. They could really use a guy with that kind of upside. I th- they they have Everett, but he's not like the difference maker. I think that they could use at the tight end position, um, and really to showcase everything uh, about that whole offense. Kind of you know have that thing kind of really click into place. Um, they they need a tight end. Uh, so Dalton Kincaid for me is the number one, my number one tight end, and there's no path to be overtaken here. Doesn't matter what happens in the draft, what goes on, he's my clear end tight end one. And I and I wrote that as well um, in my notes. You know, uh, in my closing notes, he's got everything he does really well. We already kind of broke down, but I the, my ending sentence was, I'm gonna. It's gonna be really hard to have him be knocked out of my number one spot. Nice, very hard. So. You know, I like him not as much as you. I'm not marrying the guy. Um, and I probably don't see him quite as, as high as you do as far as upside, but I love his upside. I still think it's it's you know, I think he can be in that Dallas Goddard a, approaching that number two kind of uh range type of uh, of upside. I and just, every and face the facts, your dynasty team needs that. Yeah, oh yeah. Like if you have a Travis Kelsey you need it because Travis Kelsey is 33 years yeah. old. If you have Mark Andrews, you don't need it as bad, but you need it. If you have Kyle Pitts, you need it because if he hits, now you have Kyle Pitts. And, listen, Travis Kelsey is... If it hits, man, the trade right. value is through the roof. Travis Kelsey is such a difference maker, but there is going... I don't know if it's this year. I don't know if it's two or three years. He's playing at an excellent high level, but there's going to be a time when he is no longer the top dog, right? And yeah, then it's going then it's going to be those those guys that have been vying in that second tier that are all of a sudden the top tier. But they're never going to be the same difference maker that Travis Kelsey was, but another guy eventually will come around. Is it Dalton Kincaid? Yes. Is it who knows? <laughs> is it him in 3 years? You know what I mean? Like Kyle Pitts? Right, is it Kyle Pitts? Kyle Scotter? Who knows? TJ Hawkinson? Right. One of these guys is going to be a difference maker. It's, David Njoku? It, there's seemingly always one. Sometimes there's two at the same time. Um, guys that are, are that big of a difference maker. Chig in Tennessee? Chig, you never know. Yeah, never know. 